Hey there, YouTube. It's me, Broken Terrain, and I'm bringing you another dollar store toy conversion. But this time, I'm going to paint them up to look like they're bronze statues. So come along, and we'll do it right after the drop. Much like the first video, I've done two of the toys, but I'm going to show you mainly me converting one, and then you'll see the final results of both at the end. This one is going to concentrate on Batman. Batman's a very iconic figure, so it's going to be key that we make sure he's not recognizable as Batman. You know what? Unless Batman is in your universe, um, this could be a great uh, statue outside your mini Hall of Justice for a superhero minis game. Why not? Uh, but I'm not going to use it that way. I want him to be a medieval-esque looking figure. And so I'm going to make some modifications to this little Batman fig. And uh, Barbie, I, I can't wait to get to her. You know what? Um, I do have footage from the Barbie, so if you guys want like a Barbie cut of the video, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it. It helps grow the channel and get me out there. And Well, I appreciate it. Can't do it without you. Thank you so much. This is going to be a fun toy to convert as well. But let's return to Batman and focus on him. Uh, first thing I need to do is change that face. That is such a recognizable and noticeable face. So I'm going to create a uh, visor to like a helm or helmet. Uh, and just lay the figure down against some thin ship and sketch out a, a rough visor shape. And I thought uh, it might be cool to get ambitious for this and try to do some eye holes in this visor. Being careful with some crazy glue, you just give the, chiro, uh, the thin chip a slight bend, uh, a couple little dabs of super glue in the right spot, and then you Put it on and hold it in place for just a few seconds for that glue to uh, get a good hold. And then I thought um, it'd be cool to do like a fin and try to do a gladiator's plume down the, uh, the back. So that's what I'm doing here, cutting out the fin. And then I'll glue that on to the middle of his head and then hated the idea. <laughs> so I cut cut the first mask off and uh, started sketching up a different mask, a full face mask. Again though, keeping with the eye hole in the visor. I was so much happier with this version of the mask, but um, one thing was still bothering me those tiny little ears, they gotta go. So careful application of X-Acto knife and I've got my brand new head on my bronze statue figure here. And uh, he's looking less and less Batman-like uh, with each piece. Now I wanted to do a little uh, breastplate and back piece, so I sketched a little something out uh, using the figure against some chip and then uh, just kind of making some rough guesses on the size and shape that I want. Once you've got your sketch, trim it out. Be nice and careful because you've got some really thin pieces on those shoulders there. Just bend it into shape, give it a nice rough curve, then carefully apply some super glue and hold it in place for a few seconds until that glue uh, holds true. There you go. Nice. With that bat covered up, I would say Batman is no more. Now I'm going to turn to this set of 
Halloween rings I got from the dollar store. I've got these skulls in there and uh, they're much too big for standard figs, but man, oh man, it's going to look really good as uh, one of his pauldrons on this statue. So let's get rid of the uh, extensions for the actual ring part. I'm going to cut its dome down just a little bit so it fits better. And uh, then we're going to glue it up. I was super happy with this. Man, it turned out really good. Awesome. Now the neck shoulder, I'm going to do kind of a Roman style uh, pauldron with the uh, three pieces overlapping, getting smaller as they go down the arm. Uh, you'll just glue them together uh, after giving them a nice soft curve and then apply glue to the figure and stick it right down. Heck yes, it looks good. Loincloth time. <laughs> I don't know. It's super easy to strap a loincloth on these on these uh, figs and make them look immediately uh, more medieval. So here we go. I'm gonna cut out a uh, a little rectangle that kind of flares out at the at one end, and then just work in an accordion fold on it. Uh, apply glue to the top and then attach it to the figure. I wanted to, or I tried to match the contours of his belt and it didn't work out very well. So I thought I would do a big like stomach plate uh, of the skull on his shoulder. So using the, the ring skull as a reference, I sketched out another skull and I'm going to use this to uh, be the top of that loincloth and just add a little more armor to the, the toy conversion. I think this really finishes it. Uh, this figure is absolutely unrecognizable as Batman. So now it's just time to give it a weapon. And I've decided this is a scary caster type character. So let's do a wicked looking staff. I'm just going to grab one of those craft dowels. They're very small and they work perfectly for the size of this uh, toy's hand. I'm going to cut it to length for the bottom and I put some neat little scores in to kind of represent some, I don't, some decoration on the weapon. I do it on both pieces, almost like a handle of some sort. It'll look really neat uh, when it's all painted up. Reinforce both uh, both bits with a little super glue and then I turn to my Citadel skull box for a nice uh, staff topper and I really like this demon head here So I'm gonna go with that I'll cut it out of the sprue clean it up a bit and glue it to the top of the staff And I am just thrilled. It looks amazing. Batman no longer, now the Skull Mage. <laughs> I love it. Uh, we're going to glue in just some small fender washers in the bottom, or those are probably just standard washers. A little hot glue, glue it to some thin chip, trim that uh, chip right to the edge, and it's time to prime it. I'm going to take it outside. Um, it was still very cold and very snowy here when I did it. All right, so now I drift a little bit away from the dollar store with my paint selections. I have some fancy war painter paints, and I turned to my bronze from that selection. I don't see any reason why you couldn't use a, a, a Walmart apples, uh, apple barrel bronze or or another cheap Americana or something like that. Don't feel like you need to get model paints. Um, same thing with my washes. So after I paint it bronze, I hit it with a strong or a deep uh, wash. You could get away with a couple drops of maybe a black and a brown in a watered down uh, like ink mix. And at first I was applying it like a normal wash into the cracks and crevices, but this wasn't quite getting the effect I wanted. 
it just looked wrong. Uh, it didn't look like tarnished bronze. So then I started doing this stippling technique where I just kind of patted it on the surfaces. And then the washes started to accumulate where I wanted them to. And uh, I was really starting to get a really nice effect. I'm saying really a lot. Maybe I should edit that. Eh, oh well. <laughs> So after my dark wash, I get a green wash and do the same thing, uh, stippling on, on the surfaces. And it's going to be very subtle. Hopefully the camera and the lighting pick it up, but it's going to add this really cool uh, greenish tone to what I want to look like tarnished bronze, an aged bronze. And then once I finish... Uh, stippling on the green, I hit it with a dark blue as well. Uh, after they dry, I, I get a really good, dark, um, messy looking statue. And now it's time to hit it with a very light uh, turquoise wash. This is my first attempt at it, and it's uh, way too thin. Uh, when I poured the water, way too much water came out per drop of paint. Um, I'm trying to apply it, but ultimately it's just too thin and just too light to get that, um, that turquoise look that a, a tarnished bronze statue has. So I will go back in with a, another drop of paint and thicken my, my turquoise wash up using the same stippling technique, plus applying it a bit like a wash as well. I uh, cover the nooks and crannies and then get in on some of those surfaces and apply my turquoise wash. And this is exactly what I was looking for. It looks like an old tarnished bronze statue. Fantastic. Let's take them to the table. We have Finley and the Shamrock Boys. And they're investigating a ruin where the cultists have taken the merchant's wife to their obscene altar. There, the head of the cult plans to sacrifice her and bring to life the two ancient bronze guardians. Tinley, Shamrock Boys, May luck be with you. Stop those cultists before their spells ruin this world. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like the video if you do. Uh, comment below. If you want to see that Barbie cut, let me know. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, as always like each other, love each other, and craft on.